do you want to find out a way where if you're a parent or if you are somebody that's got parents that are working that have got good jobs they can help you buy a property using their income as well as yours but they don't have to go on the titles of the property so they don't have to pay additional stamp duty if that's something you're interested in let me talk to you about joint borrower sole proprietor mortgages let's talk about a type of guarantor mortgages that is coming in very handy and I'm seeing more and more inquiries through it I've got one or two cases going through right now uh, and it's really helpful for you guys to understand what is actually possible out there and how family members can help each other uh, purchase properties that otherwise would not be uh, available to them um, let's talk about a, a live case right now that I've got going on okay I've got a family um, mother and father and two sons looking to purchase a property for their sons mother and father have got very very good jobs very very good income lovely uh, property that we did for them uh, a few years ago um, and um, they've come to me and said Payam we want to buy our sons they've just out of uni they're just starting out in their journey in terms of uh, working they're, they're young um, and they will not be able to afford the property that we're looking to buy I think the property is worth somewhere around the 800k mark okay uh, and I think they're on about 35,000 pounds 40,000 30,000 pounds each the two sons so no way uh, times that by four and a half times income five times income there's no way they can afford to buy that property by themselves however the parents can help them so uh, in that case it's it what we're doing is we're making an application uh, in all four people's so in four people's names the two sons and the parents um, and then what we're going to do is the the parents are actually gifting them quite a large sum of money for the deposit and then whatever the shortfall is they're going to make up from all four of their incomes and that's a hundred percent of all, all four of their incomes okay now there are rules around this because um, obviously generally obviously the parents are older and uh, we have to make sure is you know, are they coming up to retirement have they got income past retirement have they got good pension pots so you've got to take these things into account but what is possible is to band together all four of their income and to be able to purchase that property now what you have to take into account is the parents lifestyle the parents if they've got an existing mortgage car finance all of that but amongst four of them the case fits comfortably in affordability now the beauty with joint borrower sole proprietor mortgage products are um, although all four of them go on to the mortgage okay um, the the fact the children uh, will be the only ones going on the title of the property which can be tax advantages because the parents may don't have to pay additional property tax additional stamp duty okay so uh, it gives them a way whereby they're helping out their children purchase that property which they would no way be able to do themselves on their income um, piggybacking of the income but do not have to take the hit on the stamp duty side of things as well so it's a fantastic product out there now there are variations of this product I think there's more than 10 10 maybe 15 lenders that are offering these type of products you go from uh, very well priced lenders to some of the building societies that can do a little bit more quirkier stuff what you will find is you know it's not quite top tier rate but it's you know it, it, it's it's still very competitive makes it attractive and it's almost like a good way of passing the um, basically giving them stepping uh, helping hand because eventually what would happen is once the children start you know working and going up in, in, in the sort of earning brackets maybe we will then do a remortgage maybe in two years time or five years time or six years time whenever it is then you would just remortgage that property because they're on the titles already it's just a straightforward remortgage and you just do a transfer of equity at the time as part of the remortgage process and you take the parents off and then they can um, you know they can take on the mortgage um, I'm doing a lot of these type of uh, family type transactions more and more as people's affordabilities uh, uh, are under pressure and uh, they're banding together now there's a couple of dangerous things to, to to think about you know when you're taking on the mortgage between four of you okay 
especially if there's children involved. Those children eventually would want to go on their own. Okay, so uh, not so much in job borrower sole proprietor, but when you're doing uh, mortgages for applicants, for applicants, for example, or a family banding together, what happens if the daughter or the son want to go and get married? Okay, they're liable. They still got this mortgage on their hands. So, I suppose great care needs to be given um, about planning. You know, what happens in five years' time if you want to move? What happens if you want to move out? What happens if you've got a job and you need to go abroad? You know, all of those sort of things. Um, you need to be thought out really at the start. You need to have that discussion amongst yourselves. You know, if you're going to take a you know, liability of a mortgage together, what happens if things go wrong? Okay, or well, what happens if things change? Not necessarily go wrong. Um, but the joint borrower sole proprietor mortgage is a fantastic uh, initiative out there. There are many lenders doing them. Like I said, um, there are more and more lenders doing them, but they're all got different things. So some of them will not take the parents' income. Some of them will, will only reduce a, a, an element of the income. Some of them will say, we'll take 100% of applicant one and applicant two's income, maybe 50% of an applicant three, 25% of an applicant four. So, uh, you know, and that's where a, a professional mortgage broker uh, will help, not just I wouldn't, I'm not just saying, oh, mortgage, just just us, just niche. But like I said, you know, there are specialists out there and there are brokers that do understand this market. And and my, uh, if you're going to take anything away is, this is complicated stuff. It's really useful um, to have someone on your side that understands this or has done this type of business before. But it's certainly a, uh, it's a growing uh, part of the mortgage market, um, which is a little bit more different to your you know, average Joe, you know, residential uh, mortgage. So I hope you found this useful. If you have found it useful, if you if you're looking to do anything like this, do get in touch with me. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I've, as always, please do subscribe to the channel. The channel is growing very, very nicely. We're getting over twenty thousand views a month now. So, and that's thanks to everybody that's watching this. Thank you so much, and all the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.